Speaking of John Gotti, this was your this was your friend for many years, a guy that turned his back on you and did some things that honestly are crazy. But let's let's take it from the beginning. How did you even meet John? What was your what was your first your first interaction with John? How did you guys get to Well, I didn't, I didn't grow up with John Gotti. He came from Queens. I came from Benson Hills, Brooklyn. I met him with uh, Frankie DeChico at an after hour club. He just had gotten out of prison. I was talking to Frankie DeChico's father, who was a made guy. I was a made guy already. The door opened up to the club. John walked in with a little entourage, four or five guys. And Frankie DeChico's father says, you know this kid, John Gotti? I said, I heard of him. I don't really know. And he, that's where I met him. He was a degenerate gambler. He went in the back gambling. And uh, we had a drink together before he went in the back. That's where I met him. And uh, I had a little bit of a relationship with him. But he's not one of my childhood friends. We didn't know each other back then. And uh, how, did you, how did you wind up getting so close and you guys became boss and underboss? What was the story behind that? Because not many people... Well, it was, it was the Castellano hit that did it. And it was his, his problem with the boss. And that brought in me and Frankie DeChico. Frankie DeChico is another guy at Benson Hills, Brooklyn. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed to say this. If you took me and my whole crew, if you took John and his whole crew, we were in a pimple on Frankie DeChico's ass. Wow. That's how tough Frankie was. And so we, we decided, you know, to help him out and take the family over, make him the boss, I wanted Frankie Chico to be the boss, to tell you the truth. Mm. Uh, but Frankie said, listen, Sammy, we, me and you will be the power behind the throne. He could run it. He's got some brains. If he does the right thing, we'll be cool. I could be his underboss. He can't be mine. He's got this ego shit. If he doesn't do the right thing, I give you my fucking word. We'll kill him. I'll be the boss, and you'll be my under. Now, there's a lot of stories that went on to get to this point, so I don't want to confuse people. I put my hand out. I said, Frank, then let's do it. And we got back to him. We told him, we'll take you back, and we'll take over the family. He couldn't do it without us. Fat Man Scoop. Go to Fat Man Scoop on Instagram or Instagram TV to see the full interview. Fat Man Scoop. Go to Fat Man Scoop on Instagram or Instagram TV to see the full interview.